Hello, folks. What's going on out there? We gotta get our camera set up. Kinda. Here we go. We got a night of stuff for y'all. Let me get all our feeds going here. How are y'all doing? We got a drawing happening. We got something to unveil under this bomb sheet. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded bad. Yeah, it did. I got to find our feed on the phone here so I can keep track of what's going on. Got it. I get it turned down. Scott, I think we answered your question. Yes, we're here tonight. We are here. Okay, I got my phone on. Man, in South Carolina, this thing got hot. We're about 85 degrees all of a sudden. We got the air running. We got um, still a good many bows and crossbows, as you're going to see shortly. Yep. Dropped off. Um, we're giving away some nose jammer product at the end of the feed. We're going to talk more about that in a minute. So stay tuned. We'll get some people on here before we get wild. Um, my wife is in cleaning mode <laughs> at our house and she just gave away four vacuum cleaners. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> so man. I remember them days of giving away vacuum cleaners. I hold most of mine to the dump. Yep. I, was, them up. I posted, I was like before somebody will want these. I posted on Facebook and was like, I had, I had three and she didn't found another one. We got three or four vacuum cleaners. If anybody wants them, come get them. If not, I'm chunking them in about an hour. So they came and got them. Facebook is crazy. Yep. Chris, we're giving away some nose jammer stuff here in a minute or at the end of our little shindig here shortly. We Chris. got something to unveil under this, yep. this uh, shield <laughs> that will be unveiled shortly. Um, how are y'all doing in the middle of all this shutdown? Hopefully you're doing okay. We're still here. We're still doing our usual stuff and uh, still got bows we're working on and dropped off and picked up and uh, had a few people through today. So it's been it's been pretty good on our end. Hopefully it's okay on your end. What's going on, Grindan69? What's up? Um, so we're still here, still doing our usual stuff so far. Um, talking to a lot of people. People are bored, I guess, wanting to play with their bow. So we've had some uh, dropped yeah. off and arrows sold and targets and all kinds of stuff. But Oh, yeah. I guess everybody it normally waits to the last minute, what we call our busy season, right before deer season. So everybody's at the house, so they're breaking out their bows and tinkering, mm -hmm. So, which is a good thing. Go ahead and get it done and get it out of the way. Oh, yeah. Um, so at the end of this whole thing, after we show you what's under here, uh, we're giving away some random nose jammer stuff we got to two different people. Um, and what we're going to do is have you, you can only comment one number, but pick a number between 1 and 20. Go ahead and comment it down here on our feed right now. And when we get to the end of this thing here in about 20, 30 minutes, I'm going to get the camera. And TJ's got up the random.org website, and he'll let it randomly select two numbers. And then we'll have y'all send us your, your address, and we'll ship this stuff out. Still working in North Alabama. Grindan69 says he's still working in Alabama. We got numbers coming in. Yeah, we do. What kind of work you do? Um, most, well, I don't say most everybody I know is still working because I know a few people that's not, but a lot of the people I know, you know what I mean? Because they said essential businesses, but mm -hmm. when they said what was essential, it's like a lot of stuff, you yeah, know, I know I mean, like in South Carolina, we had to close, they had to close like barber shops and, um, nail salons and it was weird they said sporting goods stores but then when we called to check they were like well we're talking about like football helmets and stuff y'all are considered essential because of hunting or something and i was like okay sounds good to me um but you know this time of year we really don't have a whole lot of foot traffic coming in through the door anyway so hey Gro grover i think somebody already put 13 in on the feed i just seen that if you want to pick another number yep um steel mill yeah, everything is essential to McMaster. That joker, in South Carolina, it was like, we didn't do nothing for a while. And then he's like, well, we're going to close down a couple businesses. Yeah. And he put out a little list of businesses that had to close and a few more. And then he kind of said, well, we need you to stay at home, but we ain't got like an official stay at home. We got it, Grover number five. What's yeah. going on, William? Um, so anyway, we still here. Thank goodness. And... My wife works at the hospital, so she's still hospitaling. Mm -hmm. And 
making sure to not bring us any of the old china cough home and tj's wife works over at the nursing home mm -hmm. so she's trying not to kill any old people <laughs> and uh so that's cool yeah if you just got on the feed we're giving away some nose jammer stuff here um it is shampoo and body wash it's just some stuff we ended up uh with from nose jammer to two different people if you'll comment it look make sure you don't comment a number somebody else has already commented but if you'll comment a number at the end of this here shortly we're going to get on the computer and pick two random numbers and ship this to you for free for yep. two people and then we got some bigger stuff planned to give away here in the next couple of weeks but we're just testing this whole thing on the live feed um so we are getting all your numbers only pick one number and if you i'll try to i'm trying to keep track of it if anybody picks the number somebody else has already got i'm trying to let you know but so far i think we're good and if we get to 20 numbers will will increase it yeah. just a smidgen but i think 20 will be plenty from yeah what we normally do so keep doing that but on top of us giving something away um yeah, we got today a, yeah we got something we got a treat for <laughs> we got a treat for you this is tonight. what we see that we get wound up about sometimes yep um you think we should just go ahead and don the safety gear might as well all right y'all stand by please stand by for a moment let me get my gloves on here. I got to unmic for a minute. All right. It might get a little scratchy. Let me get these Kevlar gloves on. Safety first, son. I'm good. All right. What we got here is a crossbow that was cocked and left cocked and the limb has sh what's a good splintered splintered yeah and it is locked at full draw they couldn't get it uncocked and the limb has ex not exploded has splintered bad and the cable don't look too good the on cable's the yeah, it's below. bad so even though we're putting our life in danger i was like would well, this not be a hell of a thing to do <laughs> on the live feed to dismantle this bomb and i didn't want to put the word bomb in the title so let me get my camera going here. We, uh, <laughs> nah, I really ain't gonna wear all this. It was no, just for, yeah. to be yeah. funny, but we do have a, um, crossbow under here. I guess I can go ahead and show it to you. Let me get my glove off. I feel like Michael Jackson. <laughs> Stand by. Make sure I don't catch any cords when I do this. Woo. This thing. is uh let me see let me watch the feed so i can so i can see well, we got a cord i'm gonna keep my head sort of away from it but this cable has is hanging on by a thread watch it just blow up in my hand oh man and here's our uh can you see that here's the limb that is starting to let go let me see let me lower i can't tell what i'm showing the uh, there it is yep so I'm gonna wheel the press over here and we are gonna dismantle a bomb on live TV. Yep. <clears throat> I feel like I'm part of the FBI or something. I'm gonna say all these words, these keywords, and we're gonna get the dang uh, <laughs> Homeland Security is gonna pull up. Homeland Security, ATF. I have tried my best to rig it to where I can just slide this press right over here. Run down six, run. Grundan69 said, hold my beer. <laughs> if we only had a few. Yeah. All right. Let's see what we can see. You can probably going to stay. Oh, yeah, that looks perfect. That looks perfect. So our plan is, and I, I don't think we're in any imminent danger but i wouldn't want to mess with this thing much without getting it in the press yeah so it, it can when the guy people bring these things in they're like yeah it's got a little trouble and we're like whoa put that thing down <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah we're gonna press it and pretty much um so normally if, if one was locked at full draw we would just press it and then we'd kind of be out of danger but we're gonna press this one and not really be out of danger because this limb's about to let go so we're gonna press it unhook the string start letting it down just go ahead and unhook the cables yeah and then fully relax it just to get the pressure off of it. So this is our big, this is the explosion thumbnail I put on there. 
Chris says, never good, never good when the equipment says last chance. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. All right. All right. <laughs> last chance. That's good. Woo! If we hear cracking and we dive out of the way, the camera will probably fall. All right, we got some tension off. I'm going to go ahead and get the string unhooked on my side. Strings off on my side. And then you unhook your cable. I'm going to unhook my cable. We're going to get our fingers. Well out the way. Yep. Ooh, that cable's on tight. I know. Watch yourself. All right, I'm going to loose. Well, it's got us in a bind over here. Watch them fingers. Luckily, I ain't heard no cracking. Yeah. You loose, I'm loose. All right, that cable's loose. Okay, I'm gonna back her on down. I feel like I'm part of the bomb squad. Now we're we're out of troubled waters. Yes, thank goodness, man. This is a uh, striker. Hang on, we'll look at the limb. I don't know I what remember. model. I'm still laughing about that. That's not good when it says last <laughs> chance. <laughs> it's on it. Yeah. Oh, man. That was great. Man. Hopefully, y'all got to see that. Uh, you carry it to the table. I'm going to get this bow press back out of the way if I can do it without unhooking my microphone. Strike zone 350. Is uh -oh. what that model is right there. I'm hung. Um, well, <laughs> we're going to have a weekly episode of us fixing a blown up yeah. bow, but we got her, we got her took apart. I don't know anything. We're not a Bowtech dealer. These are made by Bowtech. So we just told them we'd get them out of harm's way and then let them have it back. Yeah. But the dang, will that pull off of there? They got it bolted in. I, I think, think it bolted, bolted in. in. That limb does look pretty bad. It does. And that cable, let me see if I can show them a better, well, let's hook through the axle. That cable, there's like one, two, three, four strands loose there. When that's, when this stuff comes in, we always like, good Lord. Yeah. How do people, I mean, how do people get in this situation? But. It would be my luck that this would happen to me, so. Let's see here. Somebody just sent me a picture of a traverse set we sent out and said it looked good. I'll have to look when we get off the feed. Um, <laughs> that never, that's great. Anyway, so we dismantled a yep. bomb of a crossbow. And I don't, like I say, I don't know anything about their warranty hopefully they can get it fixed or take it to somebody that can get it fixed but yep. it's a Botech uh product nothing against Botech just stuff happens but yeah at least it's dismantled we have got so if you just uh I keep seeing people join if you just joined we just dismantled a crossbow that was locked at full draw with a and I hadn't even looked at the trigger mechanism to see why it was locked Oh yeah, she's locked down good. Uh -oh. <laughs> we'll, have to, we'll have to look at that, but I don't yeah. know if it'll do me any good. But anyway, we just dismantled this crossbow and then here in a few minutes, we're gonna give away some Nose Jammer product. Um, if you just got on, we're, we're telling everybody to comment a number between one and 20, but scroll back through the, the feed there because we don't want you to pick a number somebody else has got. We're gonna, if you were to do that, we're gonna pick uh, whoever you know chose it first. And in a minute, I'm gonna grab the phone, the camera, and we're gonna get TJ over here. He's gonna pick two different numbers, and then we're gonna send this out to you for free. And then we got more stuff planned to give away. We're trying to gauge whether it's better to do the giveaway on a live feed, or whether to do it on the podcast we do, or whether to do it however. So we're just kind of playing with how we do things, and yeah. we don't mind changing stuff up. So, um. So that'll be good. 
what do you guys think the best bow for five to seven fifty is uh let me think let me think let me think that's a hard one if you're talking new bow i mean if you want i mean it depends on what brand you're really looking for the divergent wouldn't be a bad bow around that price range that's I, true they're they're at seven I'll, let me throw let's throw out a couple um the divergent can go to 90 percent let off mm -hmm. for 700 bucks that's that's not a bad option um are they six or seven seven okay the um mission's got a lot of stuff mission know, does have a lot of stuff i got a there. lot of options it wouldn't be bad pse's got some stuff just according to i guess it'd be according to if you wanted more let off or would you want a faster bow you know what i mean like that sort of thing but at the same time if you didn't want a new bow for that price range you could get like a one year old almost anything you know yeah. what i mean matthews hoyt pse whatever top of the line bow mm-hmm but then you wouldn't get the warranty, so it's like, I don't know. But yeah. uh, if it, you're talking a new bow, like you say, that Divergent wouldn't be a bad option. No, I mean, 90 per, uh, you know, it's 75% to 90% let off adjustable. Uh, I can't remember the draw lengths on it right off the top of my head. And plus you can get it in that cool new Fred Bear camo pattern too. No NTX is in yet. Um, the rep emailed me today asking me about them and all this stuff. PSC is currently, they told us they're not completely shut down, but from what we gathered, it's just a few office people there and they said they're shipping stuff, but it's only like one or two people and they're trying to not have them there at the same time. So they said, if you order something, it's going to be a while. But the rep did tell me in the email today and I'll have to reread it, but I think they're going to offer it in a sand color or a khaki or whatever you want to call it in that same uh model or whatever but um i doubt we're gonna have any lefties come in i doubt it probably get we might get a right-handed one or two in to test the waters and see how they do and i'm, I'm hoping because this year i don't want to call it thrown together but you know um dudley kind of jumped on board and they they got everything thrown together before the ata and literally they said they overnighted above from the factory to get it there in time for people to see but i'm hoping next year they kind of plan all this out a little better. Yeah, it was it was weird how they kind of threw it all together right there. But um, and you know the bad thing, and I feel kind of bad for left-handed people in archery because the left-handed bows are always the last ones to be. They're the last ones to ship, and then for us, it's a huge gamble, you know, because on one side of the aisle, if you got something left-handed. It, a lot of left-handed people will be like, as long as it's a decent bow, I'll take it. Yeah. But on the other side is, and I've done it both ways. I, I remember one year I ordered a, I forget what model PSC it was, left-handed. And I thought, this thing will sell. It might have been an Evolve or something. Might have been. And we sat on it and sat on it. And so I thought, oh, Lord, this has been a mistake. And then last year we accidentally got a left-handed Prime. And I just posted and said, hey, we got a left-handed whatever it was. And it was like yeah. two days later, uh, it was gone. So anyway. It's a two-edged sword, really. Yeah. It's a gamble. Yeah. But we hadn't got any in left or right-handed as of right now. Mm -hmm. But it, it we shot them. It's a good shooting bow. Yeah, real good shooting, real good shooting bow. Um, we're going to wait about, I don't know, five more minutes and let see if there's anybody else um, out there. Let's see here. I'm just trying to make sure. We hear that a lot, Brad, about being lefty sucks. Yeah. We got Anthony that helps us some in the shop. He's left-handed. And there's a group on Facebook called like left-handed archers or something. Yeah. I can't remember. And he found, a, he actually found a couple year old prime on there for like 150 bucks. Mm -hmm. You know, if it was right-handed, it would have went for triple that. Yeah. But I guess some guy had it, couldn't get rid of it. And, uh, and all the left-handed people, I kind of, especially if they sell in a bow, I kind of steer them to that site. Yeah. Cause it's a, got some stuff, but matter of fact, we got a left-handed expedition in today to restring i don't remember which model uh eccentric seven yep all black i don't remember that's the one that's getting that ugly string yeah what teal and teal and root beer Woo. if you're gonna pick some colors make it pretty <laughs> but um yeah left left-handed my daddy is left-handed and he has a time sometimes finding stuff but anyway do either of you guys shoot a hinge i am not right now tj's got one right now he's got the goat yep um 
I was shooting the, um, yeah, you had a couple. You had what was a Carter, a Carter Wise guy? Well, no, no, it was a thumb button. What um, was the, the backspin? Backspin. I was shooting the backspin for a good while, and I really liked it. Um, and then somebody wanted it, and I sold it to them, and I went back to a wrist strap. I always end up going back to the wrist strap for whatever reason. Me too. But um, I'm not against shooting no. or whatever. And TJ's got the GOAT, which you can go hinge or thumb button. Yep. And that's cool because you can play with it back and forth um let's see yeah i actually put it out there because I, I i change releases a good bit and i'm running a b3 halt right now just playing with um i like i like the i like to go not a bad release and the reason i went with it i was looking at the true ball abyss mm -hmm. to start with but i wanted to try a hinge or back tension or and so I ended up getting a goat and I, I guess just because I use my wrist strap to hunt with, and that's what I shoot, even in the shop, that's what we use to, um, shoot, you know, paper tune and everything. So I just went, kind of went back to the old wrist strap. It's always been the tried and true. Yep. The, uh, so t-shirts, we got sort of good news. I hope on the t-shirts, um, my wife has decided, and she's been on me for about a year, she wants an embroidery machine, and we've been talking about getting a vinyl machine to where we could do stickers and make t-shirts and the whole nine, we're getting a heat press and all that. So we, we're ordering it. I finally gave her the thumbs up. So hopefully in the next, she's got to figure it all out, but we've had a little bit of experience with some other ones. Hopefully within the next month or so, we're gonna come out with a couple different t-shirt designs. And instead of me having to order like, three or four dozen of them at a time and hope I guess the right sizes and all that, we can just keep the t-shirt blanks on hand and she can make them, you know, if somebody wants one or if you want me to ship one or whatever, um, or somebody comes in and wants one, she can make it and have it ready, you know, the, the next day or something like that. And then I figured I could come up with four or five designs, put them on the website. You know, they won't be much probably with us being able to make them 10 bucks or something is what I'm thinking yeah. from what we've seen. Uh, well, maybe a little more than that to ship, but not much. And then we can make them and ship them. And I ain't got to keep a bunch on hand, so that's going to work out pretty good. Um, you know, uh, any feedback on the shrewd? What is that? Rev and Excel stabilizers? We hadn't. I hadn't personally shot them. I've seen them. Yeah, we've we've seen them, and they look to be pretty doggone, pretty doggone good. But. Um, I like true ball stuff and Excel stuff. Mm. I know it's a little pricey, but uh, yeah. I, I don't know about the bars. Um, I'll tell you, I don't know if we should let our cat out of the bag, but if you want a good, decent set of bars, cheap, if you'll go to, you know, Conquest Archery is on something that Black Eagle started, stabilizers, but when they started it, they bought out uh, Bernie, what do you call this stuff? Control Freak stabilizers, Control Freak, yeah. Bernie Pellery. So all his old stuff they've got on the Conquest website, extremely cheap. So I mean like cheap, cheap. Me and TJ ordered a set of bars. I'm talking about we got like a front and back bar for around 50 bucks. Yeah. Um, they've only got a few left and it's like four different models. It was like the Light Hawk, the Wind Dragon, the Dragon XL and um, something else. I can't remember that other but one. You got to look for them on there and it's not like on the front page or anything but if you'll click around and browse through the stabilizers they got some of his old stuff and it is extremely cheap and i've been happy with them mm -hmm. for the money william asked what's a good thumb a thumb release to start with uh would you say that well there's a couple options you know if you if you wanted to go on the cheaper end those dang fletcher uh, the precise is it? yeah there's a precise and yeah. there's one with a sear that you click close and there's one that's just kind of like the true ball um stuff is where it's just you just yeah. rrr, rrr, rrr. and they're we're talking around 100 bucks or less for these yeah i mean there don't get me wrong there's a big difference between those and a 300 hundred dollar one. Oh yeah but if you're just looking to play with one it's not bad we've sold a lot of them uh, if you're wanting to get a little better true ball thing maybe the yeah. fang four the spot hog stuff yeah the whipper snapper the whipper snapper is on the cheaper end of the good stuff mm -hmm. and you're looking at 110 ish and then if you want to get into some decent stuff look into carter look into true ball look into scott and definitely look into b3 my two picks would be uh 
true ball and b3 yeah b3 is the people that started scott back in the day before it got bought out by a big conglomerate mess and they got some nice stuff they do and carter they got some nice stuff too i don't know if i mentioned them yet but you're looking at two three maybe four hundred dollars and stan let's not forget stan out good. there um also what i want to try is the ultra view people that may have been making the scopes they yeah. they started out 3d printing stuff now they're actually getting stuff machined and now they're making a nice uh hinge release i think they're just calling it the hinge i think so and you can get it aluminum or brass for two or three hundred dollars i hadn't seen it other than online um but i, I think it'd be well worth let's see yep go for it go for it chris come on monday afternoon what matthews we have a dealer so we have yeah, two we, dealers there. we got we're close to other dealers they want you to be far apart we have talked to them and i've got a good relationship with them from when we were at bucks and bass so nothing's going to happen in the short term but in the long term keep your eyes open um yep. we're going to wait three more minutes we we left out a pretty big hinge of when we was talking about the hinges a while ago and i would really like to get one to shoot and that's that b3 ghost yeah that it, it looks nice. good it felt good when we tested them at the show yeah, they really shot good um and b3 come i hadn't b3 came out with a slide bar type system and yep. they coming out with all kinds of stuff i'd say they're one of them companies you give them another three to five years and they'll be as big as excel true ball oh yeah the whole nine yards i look for them to come out with bars in the next couple of years yeah let's see here what do we miss Two more minutes if you just got on i'll say this again if you just got on um we're going to draw for some nose jammer stuff it's nothing terribly fancy we're just kind of playing around with our live feed to see what happens it's a shampoo and body wash from nose jammer we're going to draw two different people uh you got to comment a number between one and 20 but make sure you scroll through and don't don't get somebody else's number um and, and in about two more minutes i'm gonna grab the phone that we're recording on and i'm gonna show TJ's computer and he's going to go to random.org and, and get us a number drawn. And then mm. we'll have y'all email us your address and we'll ship them out tomorrow. Oh, range finder still in the woods. It was camo and I can't find it. That's not good. No, it's not <laughs> good at all. <laughs> that is no good. The, uh, speaking of camo, I almost had to make a splurge purchase today. Uh Oh, a guy had came in and I jokingly said, if you buy this prime bow, he was, he was giving me hell about my Crocs because we all wear Crocs. They're just comfortable and we got a concrete floor. And uh, I was joking and was like, buy the prime and I'll buy you a pair of Crocs. So we bought the prime and then he wants his Crocs. So I was like, well, I'll go up to Academy and get him some Crocs. And I went Saturday and it was a mess. They were trying to not let so many people in and they had a big line of people and everybody was grouped together right outside the door so i was like well i'll come back and uh so i went today and they had some in that what is it bottomland that mm -hmm. old school camo yeah and i was like i gotta have a pair of these but they didn't have my size so i was like all right good uh, matthew's videos i like the 31 and a half i did too the the 28 that we've had in here shoot good but i can definitely tell if i go out there at like 50 yards with one even though it's built right i mean it's got the good long riser and the laid back short limbs but i can just tell there's a lot more movement on the 28 versus the 31 and a half and it's i like it. it's got the big cams and all that stuff um no need to rub it in chris <laughs> i'm coming to steal your crocs um but yeah I'd, I, if i was buying one i'd probably get the 31 and a half the only way i wouldn't get it was if I knew I had to have a tiny bow to hunt yeah. with, but um, that 31 and a half to me was the way to go. Yep. What have we, I think we got videos on both of them, don't we? Restringing them or doing something? I can't remember. I can't remember. We might have. We did a. I know we did the 31 and a half first because we had one we drop in. Bow. I think we got bow. And then we, we restrung a carbon defiant. Yep. That should come out. Well, we did a carbon defiant and a prime rise. I think the prime rise video I got to put together first. And then the carbon defiant gave us through a few 
monkey wrenches at us. And so uh, I was fixing to say for all the people I've got, you know, I got a lot of emails with questions and everything, a lot of phone calls, you know, in your videos, you show, you know, you tuning it and it bullet holing. And so, and well, what problems do y'all see that we don't see on the videos? Well, in that Hoyt video, you'll see some of the problems that we run into. It was a mess. We set it down the center, it gave us an awful tear. We moved the rest all over the place, ended up twisting yokes and doing all kinds of stuff. And it still wasn't the prettiest, but it, we got it pretty close in the video. All right, so we got our numbers here. Yeah, the 28. We even said he's got 28 and loves it. I mean, either either one is a yeah. great bow. Yeah, but, they, they both shoot good. I mean, they really do. Yeah. Let me get the phone. All right. And we will just see if I can get it without making a mess out of it. <laughs> All right. All right. I've got to get in until he gets the phone around. So we got one to 20. I don't think anybody picked anything over 20. Here, I'll say it one more time. If you just got on, we're giving away this nose jammer body wash and shampoo. And we're telling people to pick a number between one and 20, but make sure you don't pick a number somebody else has already picked in the feed. Um, and right here, I'm gonna give it about one minute and TJ's gonna click his button after the minute and we're going to see who wins the first one and then we'll see who wins the second one and then we'll tell you how to get a hold of us so that we can ship you this stuff tomorrow we're going to use this website random.org you just put in like we want a number between one and 20 and when he hits generate I'll, I'll zoom in or get close and it'll pick somebody and like i say we're just playing around with the with the live feed giveaway stuff to see is it something we should do once a month or once every other week or what we should do here's our bright light um so i reckon you're ready for me to hit the button let me get it where they can see it i'm ready freddy all right first winner 15 stroller back scott brown you are the winner number one yep all right, number two, 13, I seen. That would be. Chris Maples, Archery America has won it. There we go, Scott Brown and Chris Maples. Yep. Let me, I'm gonna try to put this camera back on the tripod without killing it. <laughs> okay. Granddan 69, I should donate a bottle of hand sanitizer to give away. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we should have done. We're giving away toilet paper and hand sanitizer. Nope. And we'd have had 2,000 people. Yeah. Over there. Anyway, um, you want them to email me or you or um, whatever? You can either send it to archeryshack at gmail.com. Um, Chris, you can just pick yours up Monday. Yeah. Um, Scott, just email us at archeryshack at gmail.com or tj at archershack.com with your mailing address and we'll get it on the way chris said grover can have it he tried to pick 13 after me okay okay grover grover it. so grover same thing archershack at gmail.com or tj at archershack.com yeah to shoot us your address and i will i usually make a daily post office run to stick the strings in the mail i'll, I'll mail this with them and I will try to put maybe a piece of clear tape or something over it just so the thing don't open up. Scott said that he'd like to, he, I'd like to let my shooting buddy Macon Clark to have it. Okay. I will tell Macon, well, Macon is here about every two weeks. We'll just, we'll give yeah, it to Yeah, we'll give it to Macon. Um, I, duh. <laughs> <laughs> um, one of them days. Yep. So we'll put Macon's name on one and then I'll ship this other one to you, Grover. Like I say, I'll try to put a piece of tape over it. I don't I mean I don't think it'll have any trouble, but you know how things go with me. The TSA will think it's an explosive liquid and I'll go to prison <laughs> for twelve years. But uh Yep. Anyway. Let's see, I got people texting too. So that's cool. I know yep. this wasn't a big giveaway, but like I say, we were just testing the waters to see how this worked and it looks like it worked pretty well. Yeah. Um we'll come up with some bigger and better stuff and then I've said it on the podcast. Hopefully, I'm, what I'm trying to do is lure some companies in to saying, hey, we'd like to give some stuff away on your whatever. And uh, 
and then we ain't got to buy it to give it away type of thing. But I figure, you know, it'll take a while to build up our audience and that sort of thing. So it's no big, no big deal. But how cool would it be if PSE or somebody said, hey, we like what you're doing. You know, we'll we'll give you a PSE bow to give away or somebody with broadheads or a side or whatever. That's kind of what would be cool. And like I said on, I think, last week's podcast, I don't care. I don't want to make anything off of it. I just, if they'd give it to us, we'd, we'd give yeah. it away. But, uh, anyway, that's kind of where we're headed. And if you, if you're new on our, um, channel, channel, <laughs> <laughs> we do a Sunday video. That's usually either like a tune in video or sometimes it's us shooting or something like that. Every now and then a bow review Tuesday morning at 6 AM. We have a podcast that comes out and we have people, if, if you want to send us in a question, look at those, uh, YouTube videos and post us a, a question and then on Thursday night at 630 we do this live feed and sometimes it's just us BSing around and yeah. sometimes we got a crossbow that's about to explode that we dismantle and sometimes we give stuff away yeah. and we're trying to come up with more interactive stuff but the sound really sucks if we don't use these little microphones so I'm trying to avoid if we don't if we have to go over to the bow press or walk around the shop and do stuff I'm gonna have to do it without these plugged in and I know it's not a huge deal, but when I listen to something like the sound is the main thing I'm watching for. But anyway, so we're trying to come up with stuff we can do at this table in front of you or talk about or whatever. Yeah. So anyway, uh, yeah, the crossbow was interesting. Yeah, it was. That was... It was something else. It but something the funny else. thing is, though, is I bet you every archery shop in America sees this more than about 10 times a year. What's funny is people walk in with it like it's nothing. They'll be like, yeah. hey, I think I got a problem. And we'll be like, God, the money, put that thing down quick. <laughs> We're rushing back here to the press. This one wasn't, I mean, it was bad, but it wasn't quite as bad. The Hoyt that we, I didn't show it before on the video that's going to come out, but the Hoyt Carbon Defiant we did, he had nicked it with a broadhead and it was hanging on like twine was coming loose. Yeah, I know. Boom, boom, boom. But uh, I started to bring it over here and I'm like, eh. But, but there's some doozies that come in. Oh, yeah. A lot of doozies. We will let's see. We got the girls down. Uh, sounds suck. Yeah. Uh, Muddy Ducks ATV. What is your email address? Um, if you need to straight to the shops at email, it's archershack at gmail dot com, or tj at archershack dot com will go straight to me. So either one of those are the easiest way to get a hold of us most of the time. Yeah, that'll work. Um. But anyway, thank you all for watching. Quick, what's the roundabout figure? Uh, it's according to the bow, roughly, like if we're if we're restringing it and that type of thing, um, yes, sir, Muddy Ducks, no problem. Um, if we're restringing it, it's kind of 150 up and up type thing. Um, it's just according to the bow, like a five-piece set to a little more, you know, four or five-piece set on these newer Hoyts and Matthews or a little more money. But um, about 150 to 200, somewhere in there, um, roughly. And then some people send it in and want like a string, and then they want a new site and a bunch of stuff, and we just kind of get with them on a the price, and then. And and that also includes the shipping back to yeah, you, so yeah. you don't have to worry about that. Yeah. So, we've had a bunch. We've I'll had be, a lot of bows come in this way. When we started this whole online fake YouTube mess, that was sort of the plan. Let's test the waters. We already had some people sending in stuff, mm -hmm. and let's just see what happens. And it was, I mean, especially back in the summer, all kind of people shipped them in. I was yeah. like, man, we should have done this before. But uh, it's neat because, like he said, we just kind of send you a, a invoice type thing. You can pay it with a PayPal or with a credit card. We get it, it's according to the time of the year, but we have it a week or two, usually get it back in the mail and kind of keep you up to date on it. And mm -hmm. then uh, a lot of people that have sent them have said, can you do a video on them? Or if you can't, if you don't do a video, can you at least kind of video it and send me the video? I'm like, yeah, that's cool. And then uh, it's neat. It's just kind of yeah. neat how it works. It's it wild. Is. It's wild how the internet has changed business in general. It is, but it really is. Anyway, we'll get off here and let y'all do y'all's thing. Y'all be safe. We should have had us some hand sanitizer right here. We closer. We're going. We're I'm closer. surprised nobody said. I thought I about this a while ago, and I'm we closer. No we closer than six feet together. We ain't got on our mask. Yeah. And uh, I don't even know what I did with my yeah. shield. <laughs> but anyway, thank y'all for watching. Uh, we'll have 
another video out Sunday, and then we'll have our podcast Tuesday. So, yeah, comment questions. You can, like I said, you can send them to the two email addresses, but send us your questions and comments for the podcast or the live yeah. feeds. That's that's how we really keep things rolling is with, yeah. with y'all's feedback and what y'all want us to talk about. So yeah, if we, we don't have the questions, we'll ought to be talking about biscuits and mustard. Either that or why they closed the strip club down for this whole lockdown. I you guess. know, the last time they had the free lunch buffet over there, I had hair in my food. <laughs> Surprised you had more than hair in there. Mm. So Maybe that's how I got chlamydia. That might be. <laughs> anyway, see y'all later. See ya.